Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Good evening to you. Hope you all having a great day today. It is a beautiful Friday. Um, me and my wife just actually relaxing because as y'all, some of you know, we're in Milwaukee. So we're waiting on this snowfall. Either way, we're getting it. Uf, uh, GFS or Euro, it doesn't even matter for us uh, in a sense. It could be heavier if it's a Euro though. Now, now me, I'm thinking it's going to be a Euro because it's going to be rain for at least the next 12 hours before we get any snowfall. And that's according to the Euro, because the GFS is showing that we're going to be getting snowfall within 12 hours. So I can kind of show a way of how we're going to tell uh, which one is probably going to be correct. And I'm showing that it's probably going to be a Euro, guys. Sorry to say to some people on the East Coast, I'll show you what I mean. You're not going to be getting no snow at all. So some of you are going to be getting heavy, some of you are going to be getting light. But there's going to be three big storms that is coming in. It's going to be dropping snow all across the country. But I got it all for you. If you think I don't have your, your totals. You are wrong. I got it. Let me show you. Now, if you've never been here, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I do this every day, usually twice a day. Now, I put the system here because both models, GFS and Euro, both agree that at least this is going to happen. Now, you see how you got snowfall already, and this is the next 12 hours, and this is according to the GFS. If you look on the bottom right, you'll see it's on GFS, not the Euro. And this, let me show, I'll show you at the end of the video why that is important. Now, in the next 24 hours, we're going to start getting some heavy snow start coming through. Uh, and mostly, it is going to be on this track. I will show all the totals that y'all have, and I will be as quick as I can. But now, in the next three days, after it makes this track, there's going to be another southern track of the storm that I showed from the other day, that there will be a southern snowstorm. Now, I'll show you the totals from that as well. Now, let's get into the... The first three days, what snowfall totals you're going to be looking at, and this is according to the GFS. And here I am right here at Milwaukee. We're looking right around 7, and that's according to the GFS. Sheboygan, West, End, West Bend, y'all getting the heaviest. Uh, over here in Michigan, still northern Michigan, everybody knows y'all getting all the snow. Congratulations. You soaked it all up. Now, we have some that will be coming within the next three days for Virginia and West Virginia. And these are mostly in the higher elevations. Uh, but there will be some snowfall that will be starting to hit down. And as we get along with the days, there will be more totals around the area. So don't be discouraged. More snow is coming. Now, in the next five days, you can see how the track does a more southern uh, snowfall of effect from the second snowstorm. This is the first. This one is the second. And then we're going to be having a third that's going to be coming from the northwest. And it's going to be an even bigger one that's going to drop even bigger totals. Now, here's your totals, and if mostly in the light blue, you're looking at one to three inches of snowfall, and that's anywhere that you see it on the whole map. There's just so many places, so many totals. Uh, I'll have to be quick with this. That way I can get everybody in there for you because everybody is wondering what they're going to have. Now, here's where your, your heaviest areas are. So please stop the video in your area. Make, make sure that you see your number and see what your totals are going to be according to the GFS. Right, and right after that, we're going to do the Euro. Now, after that, I'm going to show all the storms that we're going to have in the south. There's going to be a lot of severe weather that will be coming with these storms. So even though it's nice and snow on the top and west side, on the south, it's looking bad all the way, tracking all the way to the north and northeast. So it's, some people's getting snow, some people's going to have a rainstorm. So I apologize for that. Now, once again, these are the higher elevations that you see with the, the eight inches right there by Virginia, West Virginia. And all the blue is all one to three inches anywhere on the map. It don't matter where you're looking at. Now, let's go along with the next 10 days. Now, this is from the, the from five days out to 10 days out. Okay. Now, here's the first 12 hours. And this is according to GFS. Then in five days out, you got the second storm that's coming across uh, Kentucky, Virginia, Indiana. It's going more southern. It's not going to the northeast. But in the next five to 10 days, Another storm system is brewing, and it's going to be dropping heavy snowfall. And it's, I'm talking a lot of heavy snowfall. Now, for example, over here in Philadelphia and New Jersey, now if it's the GFS, you're going to be getting a lot of snowfall. It's coming right for you. You're going to be seven to nine inches. It all depends where you're at in your area. But real quick, what I'll do is this is the last time we'll be looking at the GFS. So I'm going to show you the totals just in case it is a GFS, and the GFS actually People know that these storm systems are going to be pulled uh, together. There's two low pressures that's going to meet up. 
one going across the north of the country and one's coming up the east coast. They're going to come together and be one big strong system. So that's what's going to be this uh, possible nor'easter that's going to be in the northeast. That's, I made a video on that this morning. And that's what I believe that will happen. And that, that's according to the Euro uh, effects. Because the, the southern one, which is this one, the GFS, it goes all across these states lightly, and then the northeast isn't going to get a bunch of snow at all. All you see is uh, some pockets of green, but mostly you've seen one to three inches in a lot of the blue. Now, if we, now when we get to the Euro, you're going to see a different story. Uh, in some places, I'm sorry, I know that you might be looking at a lot of good snow off the GFS, but the Euro is showing some of y'all might not even get zero. So here's what you got in the far nor northeast, a lot of blue also, and that's just terrible to look at, especially when y'all want to get some snowfall up there. There's a lot of people up there. But across the central U.S. also, you got some snowfall all the way from Indiana, Illinois, uh, Ohio. Is it Y'all going to be getting some good snowfall, especially in the southern of the states. But right below y'all is going to be thunderstorms. I'll show you that at the end of the video. So it's not really going to be a... Oh, uh, a fun time with just the snow because if you're not getting the snow, you're going to be getting not really severe. It's going to be one to two inches of rainfall, but it's going to have some thunderstorms with it. It will have some lightning with it. Uh, you might get some thunder booms, uh, some snow, some thunder snow out of it. It depends uh, where you're at. Now, here's your totals for the Texas and Oklahoma as well. Remember, the West is going to be getting it first, but the heaviest parts, of course, it's going to be in Michigan. I do see that Sheboygan and West Bend, Wisconsin is going to be getting a lot of it uh, as well. Uh, and plus in the northeast, you got up there by Syracuse, by New York. That's going to be getting a lot, a lot of lake effect snow. Uh, the video I made this morning, I told you about the, there's going to be some, some very high winds that's going to be coming across with the system. Now here's what you got for Kansas. This is also what you got for Nebraska. You got the northwest of, of uh, Arkansas. Colorado, a lot of a lot of higher elevations, but it's good ski country. It's good time for y'all to go have y'all fun. Now this is the next five to ten days. Now when you check and see what the totals are for the Northwest, and we're talking Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Wyoming, Nevada, Utah, and the west of Montana. Now you got some pretty heavy snow totals coming. We got 22 in Kellogg, 29 in Packwood, and down in Oregon. Look, you're getting a lot of big totals of seven to nine inches. And that, and that green and the bright green is 11 to 13. So it all depends. Now, the GFS we're going to go away with. Next five, next five days, next 10 days of the heavy snow in the northwest. That's the next system that is coming through. Now, let's look over to the Euro. The Euro shows not only that this is not going to be a southern thing like it did. It's going to be a northeast uh, storm. And then it's very heavy, too. Plus, if you look on the northwest in Washington, it is very, very heavy, a lot heavier in the next five, uh, second half of the five days then it showed on GFS. So everywhere I, so, I show there's going to be heavy snowfall from this system, uh, especially on the Euro side. And we're looking at inches at 32 now in Packwood. Uh, Kellogg's getting heavy regardless. You got Burns, Boise, Grandview. Everybody's getting in on some snow, on that, especially on that, that third system when it comes through. Really, it's the fourth one because the two low pressures meet up for that second storm that's going to be the nor'easter. But let me show you exactly what this is going to look like for the Euro. The effect, the totals are different. And just like I pointed out for New Jersey, I'm going to show you over here by me. I'm over here in Milwaukee. I'm getting 8 inches of snow. But according to the GFS, it's more of a northern, and I'll be getting 6 to 7 inches of snow. And I'm right on the edge. I could be easily getting that blue where it's 1 to 3. So I'm, I'm not too excited about that neither. Uh, Des Moines, Omaha, all, all y'all getting heavy snow, 4 to 7 inches. It all depends where you're at. Make sure you pause the video. I'm just going to go over the, the heavy parts. As you can see in all the blue. Now, now, this is a southern, the GFS. Now, the Euro has the northeast. Okay, that's the big difference. Now, all the blue is one to three inches of snowfall. Anywhere in that whole area of Indiana, Ohio, West Virginia, a lot of y'all getting a lot of one to three, according to the, the Euro, which is the heaviest. Now you can't. I know you can't make everybody happy. Now these are at higher elevations, of course, but these are a lot more uh, people that's getting a lot more snowfall if it's the Euro. And I know if the GFS, it'll be other cities that would be getting more. But then again, this would be the whole Northeast just getting impacted with heavy snowfall, especially up here uh, by Syracuse in northern uh, New York. 
you know, down here you can see the line right here by Irvington, Princeton. There's a very thin line of either one to two inches or you're getting six to eight inches. It's so close. It's all about timing. So we need to know about the temperatures that's coming. And that's something you want to do when it's a little bit closer because that's what changes first. And according to the temperatures, it will be according to where we're going to have this uh, this freeze line of snow versus rain. Because no matter what, it's a big system that's going to be traveling. And here you go, man. I, did, I didn't forget about you. <laughs> Y'all just getting a lot of snow regardless. Sanford, you're getting some heavy snow, 15 inches. Portland, 14 inches. It's a good little spot. I think y'all gonna be getting a lot of winds that's gonna be creating that. And then look at all these totals. Everybody's getting a lot of heavy totals in the northeast according to the Euro. So if it's if it's gonna be the GFS, none of this is gonna happen. Look at that, 19 inches in Camden. Oswego 15 inches. That's gonna be a bad spot, especially for the lake effect. I'm sure a lot of y'all are pretty used to that over there. Uh, it's been going on for a long time. But Burlington, Montiplier, Long Lake, all of us, y'all getting a bunch of heavy snow, at least 8 to 10 inches on the low end. Now, that's according to the Euro. Now, let me show you the difference of, of what, I, what I, I mean between the, the freeze line. One side has 10 inches, the other side has 2 to 3 inches. So, it all depends on the temperatures, guys. We really need to follow the temperatures as it gets closer to see where this dip is going to be for this high ridge. The high ridge is what's going to be pulling this, this storm system to the northeast. So, we just got to follow that high ridge. And I did show that... Uh, on the video yesterday that it is going to be an even longer uh, negative pattern so it's most likely now you see on GFS you see it going across and you got New Jersey you got Philadelphia uh, Princeton y'all getting a bunch of heavy snow and this is exactly what I mean now this is a GFS and if it's the Euro nothing so it, it really depends on which track it takes. It really depends on whether this high ridge is going to be more to the east and this is going to go off into the ocean or if this is going to be nice and tight of a high ridge uh, and then pull up to the northeast. So I'll stay on top of it. I'll make another video in the morning. Now here's your 10 days outlook of what you got. Okay, you got it 12 days and then in 24 hours you're going to get snowfall. That's according to the euro. Now according to the GFS, that it actually only takes 12 hours to start getting that snowfall. So if we get, if we get snowfall, if we don't get snowfall within the next 12 hours, that means that most more than likely it's going to be the Euro model. Now the GFS has a southern one, the southern second storm that we're going to be looking at, looking at next. Uh, quite frankly, it is going to be coming quickly. And then the or if the Euro is it's going to be in the northeast, and I think that's what it's going to be because I'm showing that I'm not going to get no snow for at least 12 hours. And that's, that depicts the GFS. So it takes 24 hours for the Euro to get any snow. And then if you did it with the GFS, it would be within 12 hours. Now let me show you what this looks like really quick. This is the Euro version. This is the storms. There's the first. Here comes the second. And look, it does bring a lot of storms to the south. Louisiana gets covered in some severe. And it does go to South Carolina. Time and date is on the bottom, guys. All you got to do is pause anytime you want to see any part of this video again and here's where the two meets up for the for the nor'easter in the northeast by wednesday and it brings a lot of heavy storms with it you see that that's what i was talking about it's gonna be nice with all this snowfall but it's not really gonna be fun and handy for people that's not getting the snow because there's gonna be some bad storms that's gonna be brewing with the system especially on the south side now we go to the gfs model there's a difference that you will see this is where you see the southern storms now, I'm going to go quickly just like the other ones. That way you see exactly what's going on. Pause it anytime you like. And you got the first system that's moving through tonight into, until tomorrow. See the storms moving with it. That's why it's saying maybe it's going to be later uh, for the snow is what I'm, I'm feeling for the Euro. The Euro, I think, is correct. Now, by Sunday night until Monday morning, we get that second system. And it's bringing a lot of storms to the south. Both of them show that Louisiana is going to have some really severe storms, especially Mississippi as well. Now, uh, South Carolina, North Carolina, Monday morning, y'all got some storms you'll be looking at while it's dropping snow in Virginia and West Virginia. Then before that can go away, that third storm is going to pop up. It's going to meet up with the East Coast low system. It's going to create uh, uh, some snow for y'all for New Jersey. And that's when it gets pulled out, and that's when Northeast just gets, gets nothing. So there you go. I told you I had everybody's snow totals. 
God bless you all. I hope you get what you want out of this system, guys. And watch out for that storm system if you're not getting the snow because it's going to be bringing issues. It could be some minor flooding in some areas. Now, this morning we always went through our daily because I like to read the good book every morning. Uh, I was enjoying Matthew for a while lately. Today I'd, I'd like to speak to y'all about Job. So don't leave too quick, please. It'll be, it'll, it'll be quick. Job 5 Call now, if there be that any that will answer thee, and to which of the saints wilt thou turn? For wrath killeth, killeth the foolish man, and envy slayeth the silly one. I have seen the foolish taken root, but suddenly I cursed his habitation. His children are far from safety, and they are crushed in the gate. Neither is there any to deliver them whose harvest the hungry eateth up and taketh it even out of the thorns and the robber swalloweth up their substance although affliction cometh not forth of the dust neither doeth trouble spring out of the ground yet man is born unto trouble as the sparks fly upward i would seek unto god and unto god would i commit my cause which doeth great things and unsearchable Marvelous things without number, who's given up rain upon the earth and sendeth waters upon the field, to set up on, on high those that be low, that those which mourn may be exalted to safety. He disappointeth the devices of the crafty, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness, and the counsel of the froward is carried headlong. They meet with darkness in the daytime and grope in the noonday as in the night. But he saveth the poor from the sword, from their mouth, and from the hand of the mighty. So the poor hath hope, and an iniquity stoppeth her mouth. Behold, happy is a man whom God, God correcteth. Therefore despise not thou the chastening of the Almighty, for he maketh sore and bindeth up. He woundeth, and his hands make whole. He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Ye in seven there shall no evil touch thee. In famine he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou, thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beast of the field shall be at peace with thee. And thou shalt know that thy tabernacle shall be in peace, and thou shalt visit thy habitation, and, and shalt not sin. Thou shalt know also that thy seed shall be great, and thine offspring as the grass of the earth. Thou shalt come to thy grave in a full age, like as a shock of corn cometh in, it, in his season. Lo this, we have searched it, so it is, hear it, and know thou it for thy good. Amen. God bless you all tonight. I hope you all have a great night. It is Friday, so be safe out there. Don't do anything too crazy. <laughs> do me a favor, share the video to anybody you know that, that might be affected by this. It looks like a lot of people is going to be affected either way, because uh, we do have some storms. It's not just going to be a snow event, guys. God bless you all. All glory does go to God. Amen.